Hello, I've been a Caterpillars, and today we are doing favorites and hated of drugstore primers. So, um, without, <laughs> um, just a couple disclaimers. I'm sorry if I look really washed out right now. I just have no control over how the sun is looking and stuff. <clears throat> so I'm using natural light. And also, my room in here echoes like crazy, so I'm sorry if it echoes. Like, I have such high ceilings, but I can't really, like, put anything on the ceilings. Like, have my curtains up and even that still. Like, because there's, like, a couple good three feet, maybe, of ceiling atop my window. It's, like, I just have really tall ceilings. I think they're, like, crazy tall. Like, 12 foot at least ceilings. So it's really high in here. So, um, yeah, there's that. I'm sorry about that. Jeez, I am so cold. Oh, but it's like so warm outside today because I'm in a sweater and like freezing but anywho um, let's get into this video I don't have every single one I don't have an actual bottle to show you because I've used them up and don't have them with me and got rid of them um, but I will insert pictures if I don't have the actual product to show you of things that I love and no I am not sponsored this is just all my opinion I've spent all my own money on all these primers and this is what I like and that's what I don't like so let's get into it I also have like a list on my phone of like primers that I've used that I'm like I like it I don't like this one so um let's start off with my probably my number one favorite primer that I have purchased over and over and over again. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Cover All Primer. This is kind of a, um, it says it's magic, it's a magic, po this is what the back says, it says magic potions, refines pores, fills in fine lines, brightens complexions, even skin tone. Um, it's cruelty free, which I really like too. It's uh, 25 mils, zero point eight fluid ounces so you don't even get a full ounce in this but it's under five dollars so I really like it I don't think it does kind of anything it claims to do um, I don't think it really evens my skin tone brightens my collect may, may, may brighten it a bit um, I don't think it fills in fine lines or reduces pores I just feel like it's a very um, moisturizing and just a really nice generic kind of primer that like anybody can really use um I don't really think it like I just think it's just like it's such a nice consistency it comes out white um it just rubs right into my skin it makes the makeup last longer it's just really nice it doesn't have a silicone feel to it it just feels like I'm kind of putting it feels like the texture kind of like a moisturizer like it's just really nice, really soft, really light, doesn't clog my pores, um, I just love it. It's very, I feel like a very basic, like if you just want a generic primer, you don't want like a silicone feel and you're not really looking to like fill in your pores and like fine lines or anything like that. I think it's like a very good, if you want your makeup just to help make your makeup last longer, I think this is really great. And it's under five dollars and I absolutely love it and it's my favorite um, just very basic primer like I just want something that makes my makeup last longer or if I'm using a pore filling one I just want to put a primer the rest everywhere else on my face I'll use this one I think it is just fantastic <laughs> um, keeping on the lines with primers I think are really great I don't actually have this one to show you but um i really love the hard candy sheer a uh, hard candy um it's the mattifying primer because i have combo skin it's a green bottle i'll start the picture right now of it um i just think i've used it up before i've used the entire bottle of it i love it um i think it's really great i really love it it does keep me matter it like helps keep me matte um, I don't get as oily out throughout the day which I really like and it's not like a silicone feeling it goes on really nicely all over my skin it doesn't break me out it's not tested on animals um, I just think that one is really great too I love that one as well if you have 
oily skin and you want to stay matte, I think that's a really good one to check out if that is something you're interested in. Um, there's also the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I do like that one as well. It does keep me matte as well. It's a really nice consistency. I've never actually tried the foundation of that line, but I am curious to try it, but I did really love the primer. I think that was actually like one of the first primers I tried. Maybe it was that one or was this one. I'm not really sure, but again, it did keep me matte and I did really enjoy it. One that I'm kind of on the fence. It was nice, but then like halfway through using the product, it kind of my face started to burn. So I don't really know if it was another product that I was using or if it was actually that product. But it is the Rimmel Fix Plus Primer. It was okay. I wasn't like the hugest fan of it. Like if I got it, I'd probably use it, but I don't think I'd go my way to purchase it. Um, I think it was kind of just because halfway through using the product, my face started to feel like it was on fire and burned under my eye area whenever I used it. So I don't know if it was something else I was using or if it was just that product or just didn't like my eye cream or something that I was using at the time because it was just only under my eye area that it would burn. Everywhere else it was kind of okay. But um, yeah, the one I don't like by that line is the pink one. It's the Rimmel Fix fix and prime by Rimmel. It's the pink bottle one. It's got the SPF 15 I think in it or something. That one is so liquidy. Like I, even if I shake the bottle up it just I don't know if I got a bad one or something but it was just like liquid and I was like I don't want to put this on my face and it made me very shiny and it was just not easy to rub in. It was like putting liquidy water on my face and I just did not like it. It's not a huge fan of it. Would not recommend purchasing that. If you love that one that's great. Maybe I just got a fluke in a bad bottle but I just don't like it. I think it's it was just too runny for me and just not nice. Um, NYC does a that was, I think that was my first primer I used, and it left my face kind of like shiny looking, like it had glitter in it. So, um, but like once you put your foundation and stuff on, you don't really notice it. But I was like, if I just put the primer on my face, it is like got glitter in it. So, like, my face was just like shiny, glittery. And I was like, I don't want that on my face, but if you have dry skin and want a dewy look, Maybe that one could be for you, but there are other ones out there that I think are better for if you want a dewier looking skin, which for example would be this one. This has no, this is my second bottle of this. Can't even tell what this is because um, writing is taken off, like everything's taken off. But this is the um, Hard Candy Sheer and the Hydrating 24 hour or 12 hour hydrating primer. Um, it's a mist. It's a really, I love the mister on this thing. It is amazing. It applies it really nicely. It does leave my skin feeling very hydrated and it does leave it a dewy look, um, which is kind of why I have stopped wearing it in the summer because I get, tend to get more oily in the summer than in the winter. Um, but if you're looking for a very, like if you want a dewier looking skin, if you have really dry skin or dry skin, um, I don't recommend if you have met, like, oily skin unless you want that dewy look because this does make you look dewy um, but I really like the fact that it's very hydrating on my skin and I do like to look a little dewy once in a while the only problem with me is because I have kind of combo skin that I can look dewy but then it's also like after a little while it's like I look kind of oily I can look throughout the day a bit more but um, you know I think it's a really fantastic primer. I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. This is my second bottle of this stuff and I think it's really great. As you can tell there's no like writing on it anymore. That's how much I use the packaging that it's like the stuff is just worn right off and it's a white bottle. But this is like under $10. I think it's like maybe $10 or something but I think it is a fantastic primer if you're looking for a dewy to make your skin look very dewy like. So I have a bunch that I don't like just because I don't like silicone type feeling, very silicone-y type 
primers and these ones are all very silicone type primers so if you like a silicone like esque primer these stones will probably be perfect for you which is the Maybelline baby um, Maybelline baby skin um, primer I think it's called it's green I'll insert a picture of what it looks like right now but that one, I feel like it is a perfect dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Like, I feel like they're like an identical dupe. Um, as well as this e.l.f. Hydrating Fix Primer. I feel like any of the e.l.f. Um, primers, because they're very silicone-y and they're a bit like the exact same texture as the Baby Skin and the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I feel like they're all three are like dupes for each other, so depending on how your price budget is. Um, yeah, <laughs> those ones may work, those ones may not work for you, um, but I just, I hate silicone-like primers, so that's why I don't like them, because they're, they ball up on my skin, and they just don't sit well under my makeup, and I don't like it when I'm, like, rubbing it on, it, like, just balls up, and I just, I don't like them, so there's that, those ones, I also don't like the Maybelline, um, the green one. It's for pore, fill, for pore filling. I think that one's just way too silicone-y for me as well. And I just don't like that one. I'll insert a picture of all these other ones I'm talking about. So you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, again, the e.l.f. ones, they're all like silicone-y ones that I've tried. Like this hydrating face primer. I tried another one as well. I just don't like them. They're all... Um, whoops. There's a little bit of it. You can see very like silicone like texture and just how it rubs on my skin and stuff. It just balls up on my skin and I don't like that. Um, so those are the reasons why I don't like those. But if you like a silicone like one, those ones are really good. Um, NYX has one too that's very silicone-y feeling. Um, I don't like that. But if that's what you like, that's a good one too, I think. Um, I also really like the NYX Pore Filler one. Um, it is only a 0.67 fluid ounce. It's a 20 ml bottle. This is expensive when I buy it at Shoppers Drug Mart because it's the only place that sells NYX in Canada, to my knowledge. But it's a very weird um, texture. Like, it's very crumbly, but it does blend out nicely and surprisingly doesn't ball up on my skin. It is a nice pore filler. Um, I do like it. I feel like it's kind of very similar to the Benefit Professional. That one doesn't feel very silicone-y, nor does it ball up on my skin. I really like that one. So this one's nice for if you're looking for something kind of like the Professional one that isn't very like so heavily silicone and it doesn't ball up on my skin. This one is also really nice too, Hard Candy Sheer V Primer perfecting it says minimizes lines and pours for a smoother finish i feel like it does kind of like it feels like the better um benefit professional texture as well so if you're looking for a dupe for the benefit professional i think this one's really nice as well i'm using i wore on my face today um it blended really nicely made my makeup go on really smoothly i just kind of put it on my nose under my line under my eyes kind of where my pores are under my on my forehead to kind of minimize those lines and here it was nice it did feel really nice and like pore filling so i really like this one too it's nice so the brands i like i really like hard candy ones I'm not sponsored i don't like maybelline's primers i just find them to be very silicone-y like and i just don't like silicone feeling so if you like that maybe they'll be good for you but i just did not like them feeling very silicone-y and for I just I don't like the silicone feel it just balls up on my skin and so I just don't like it for that reason so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful I'll see you guys later goodbye good butterflies bye so I hope you don't think I was like hating on a certain one I just don't like silicone ones so I just don't like those primers but if you like a silicone like primer you'll probably love these and if you don't like these other primers then that's okay too if that's your favorite if I said something that you absolutely love and it's your holy grail and you swear by it keep using it 
because everyone's skin is different that's why there's so many products out there because they're trying to meet the needs of everyone what I like you might not like so I'm just kind of telling you why I hate those ones I just don't like the texture of them I just don't like silicone ones so it's not that I hate them and I think they're terrible I just I don't like them on my skin I don't like silicone so very silicone dimethicone very feeling stuff on my skin so I just find it balls up and it doesn't feel nice so 